welcome to easy english by eddie singh and today we are going to i mean explore one of the poems of class 10 literature animals by walt whitman walt whitman is the poet who brings about a comparative study of human behavior with that of the animals you just think of that in this poem you can ask sir what is this poem about what is the central idea yeah this poem animals talks about you know a poet's desire and poet's admiration praise for animals because he believes that animals are better than human being in many aspects in many poet compares you know the life and behavior of animals to those of mankind though man is you know a sensitive animal yet he has lost his conscience and sensitiveness on the contrary in this poem the poet has you know praised the behavior of the animal he praises the animals and said that mankind which uh, you know once which possess those beautiful qualities had lost all those valuable qualities that is the reason why now the poet wants to live with the animals and experience the simplicity of life he wants to you know live with them to know how innocent they are and where i mean the atmosphere where there is no worry about any material gain there is no i mean worry about any you know madness about possessing thing because what the poet believes that animals neither commit sin nor they do they pray for forgiveness do they actually commit sin no never do they pray to god for forgiveness yes. no never thus there is there is a comparison between the life of animals and that of the mankind in this poem the poet also wants to i mean go through certain lines he says i think i could turn and leave with animals they are so placid and self content the fact that the poet here desires to turn into an animal ask sir why just to experience the calmness and purity of mind of the animals what to do tell me the poet just wants to turn into animal just to experience the purity and calmness of mind of animals the poet says unlike human beings animals seem so self controlled so contained with their lives and happy in their natural surrounding that they do not bother about anything else they eat and sleep peacefully without bothering about anything they have self control and rationality and that is what the poet loves the poet loves their self control you know in the stanza 2 we see that the poet is making another comparison he says they do not sweat and whine about their condition the the one means to complain they they don't cry the animals like unlike human beings the animals don't cry nor do they complain about their miserable condition they always remain satisfied the poet is quite happy with the fact that animals do not make any complain and cry about their condition unlike human being they they eat and sleep peacefully they have nothing to worry about they are not hungry of material gain am i right they don't have madness about possessing wealth and that is why the poet finds the life of animals more simple and more authentic according to the poet since all are equal in in the opinion of the animals therefore they have neither respect for some nor insult for some of the few neither they have respect for a group of people nor they have any insult for others they just keep their treatment equal to all all these features of animal make them happy and uncomplaining happy and that is the reason why the poet now says that i want to turn into an animal from human being and live with them to experience their purity of soul and purity of mind the poet says in the line that i think i could turn and live with animals actually what is the poet turning from say like that the poet is turning from uh, from an, from human being 
into an animal ask what is this turning symbolic of ask what is this, this turning is symbolic of the poet's detachment he is totally detached from human being and their nature and he is attached to the you know animals the simplicity of animals say like that the you know the line that the line that i could turn and live with animals is symbolic of is symbolic of the poet's detachment from the human being and their nature and the love for animals love for and that is why the poet appreciates the animal and animals and their behavior throughout this poem throughout this so in a nutshell we can say that there is a beautiful comparison between the life of mankind and those of animals those of that unlike human being animals are self contained they are you know they are happy contented and they have nothing to worry about uh, you know materialistic possessions the madness of possessing wealth like human being is always hungry of you know possessing material wealth possessing and this madness is not found among the animals among the animals. and that is the reason why they live a better life a contented life and thus the longingness of the poet is that the qualities that man is now lacking should be there in the human being and therefore there is a long you know desire of the poet that the these qualities which once human being possess which had been lost in mankind should be retained by them retained by them. that is what this poem about thank you very much